Say good morning. <laughs> Ray and I are having a talk about cheese. Do you like cheese? Mm. So we are big fans of Cracker Barrel brand cheese. <laughs> this stuff. This stuff. Mm. Um, I got this from Sam's Club, a three pack for $4. But this is so yeah. good. But we were talking about how when we were kids, we hated cheese like this. We only liked that individually sliced American cheese. And we were just like, was that real cheese? Like, is that cheese? So, yum, yum. Grayson loves this, which is so funny to me. We're just eating berries and eggies. Yum, yum. <laughs> Bean Bean has a lunch audience. Uh oh. Say, Papa and Jojo are here. I'm getting fed like a queen. <laughs> a little sour? Yeah. She's sharing. Oh. I'm not that fast. <laughs> I'm not that fast. just been hanging out. Grayson has been going ham and now I am headed to get my hair done which I'm so super duper excited about. My hairdresser is having a baby in two weeks and I slid in to her last appointment which I slid into this appointment six months ago when she found out she was pregnant. But just to get my hair touched up, get a little trim -a limb limb and be all fresh for Christmas and then I have four months to wait for her to come back from maternity leave. But I refuse to let anyone else touch my hair because I've had some pretty dramatic hair experiences in my past. So I'm so excited to go see her. She's the cutest little pregnant woman and seeing her is like a therapy session like she is just the greatest and I really consider her a friend and not just a hairdresser here's the question question of the day do you tip differently or more or give a gift or anything during the holidays to people like your hairdresser or your nail woman or you know people that you go to regularly for a service I would like to know I don't exactly know what is customary I don't even know what I'm going to do I'm just kidding um but I am feeling quite fresh got my hair all nice sent some good vibes to my hairdresser who's gonna have her baby soon I can just tell her baby is coming soon and I am now on the way to pick up the dinner picking up some Chinese food because super random there is a Chinese food place very close to our house and, oh, I think I just went the wrong way, hold on. Okay, I'm a little bit lost, but anyways, there's a Chinese food place near our house and it's a one man show. So he cooks and he answers the phone and whenever he's taken enough orders for the night, he shuts down the phones and they go to the busy signal. He takes it off the hook. Ray and I have tried about six times to try to call early enough to get this food and we've never done it and we did it tonight. Yeah. So I'm so excited because it's supposed to be super delicious and like somewhat authentic. So 
I'm on my way to pick it up and I'm so pumped. Guys, look at the moon. That is wild, it's huge. That is a moon, not a light. Wow. All right guys, well that's a wrap on today. Um, I totally forgot to vlog this evening, but we ate Chinese food and we watched The Family Man and now we're going to bed. Say bye. <laughs> bye guys, see you tomorrow.